Hey everyone, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, and as you can see, we start the episode with some great news. Greece has capitulated. Now this, obviously, is not really a big surprise. We knew this was going to happen, but still, it's nice to see, and it, it still is a great victory for the Axis indeed. Now, there's another thing I want to show you, which just makes me personally so happy. Now, if you remember, we had a battle just over here, uh, I think off the coast of Scotland, where we got absolutely obliterated. We lost, I think, about... 50 submarines and we only destroyed two British destroyers but look what we did now we have uh, fought another battle we lost seven submarines but look at this um, uh, wait actually is there a better overview uh, click for details mm. Oh yeah, well, there we go. This is a little bit easier. And so we destroyed five light cruisers, one carrier, two heavy cruisers, three battleships, 14 destroyers. This is amazing. I like this. I don't know how we've done that, why we've all of a sudden been so much better. I think it could be because... I don't really know. I really don't know why why we did that. But I'm, I'm very happy actually. Let me see what submarines... I wonder if we now have some, well, uh, more experienced submarines. But we do not. Seems as though your ship uh, experience really only ticks up very slowly. I guess we just haven't really been in too many wars. Anyways, this is great. So obviously now our troops are going to go and heal up. But this was a big strike. Three battleships have been destroyed. That's pretty amazing. Obviously we continue to uh, raid some convoys. We even have like the Japanese over here, which is... Actually, wait. No, this is a... There was a Japanese fleet here. There it is. Those are two Japanese fleets. Anyways, now obviously we do have our war goal on Denmark and Norway, and uh, that's good for another two years. So I don't, I do want to hold off on that because we still lack a lot of resources. But yeah. Let me show you how our war is going. As you can see, uh, we have been pushing through. What I did, I actually um, managed my uh, one of my tanks personally just to cut through here because we we were making headway here and then we kind of got stopped by these rivers so i just broke through his one tank and cut uh, through the coast so that we could cut off these guys so they're pretty much done and now we're pushing here uh, pushing in here it, it definitely goes much better uh now that we have actual um actual resources or actual supply now we still lack some supply it says in northern india but it's not as bad as it used to be so i'm very happy about this these guys are also yeah i, I guess you know what uh, I don't know. Okay, they're, they're redeploying. That's fine. Let them do that. I I don't know. I, the AI can handle this. This is not the best or most efficient way to do it, but uh, I, I don't want to, you know, to have too much micromanaging going on. Okay, so we've just taken this river. Very good. Uh, I was actually sending forces to uh, take the coastline, um, but I guess one just does not seem to be strong enough. Okay, maybe if I send a second one, well, be, maybe this way that would be better, actually. There we go. Alright, uh, and you guys are breaking through as well. I've given them uh, commands as well. Just want to take out the coastline, coastline, then we have some more guys encircled. Um, and you guys are just pushing in, which I think is is just glorious. Now, Bombay... Uh, th th does that mean we have already taken over Delhi? I guess it does. Although, no, maybe Bombay was always their capital. I don't know. I don't know where the British Raj had their, had their seat. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed. Actually, no, okay. When no, no, you are taking attrition. Okay, well, I've, I've tried to avoid that. I guess, you know what, we can just finish this off now, come on. I mean, this is one unit, what's he gonna do? <laughs> We're just gonna... How many tanks is this? Oh my god, six tanks. And some Italian troops as well, or... Yeah, no, the, those are Italian, or Hungarian. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. Alright, uh, I think my music is now way too quiet, I don't know. I will have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so this guy's done. You guys will do your stuff as well, and you're just pushing forward. Um, I don't think we actually have gathered gathered any. No, we have not gathered any resources yet. But we have some more free military factories. Now, what do I need the most? We still lack so many things. Uh, we're finally making some infantry equipment, but we're still so much in debt as well. Um, motorized is probably something we should be building, but I don't know. I don't know if I really want to. Light tanks is definitely important. Medium tanks, but this is this is all due to uh, due to rubber. Although actually, you do not need any rubber, but you need oil indeed. Hmm. Okay. Infantry equipment just needs steel. I just don't really know what I want to focus on uh, right now. Um, no, this is the deployment. Let's go on the uh, production. We do have quite a lot of infantry equipment lined up. It just takes a long time until this is actually up to 
full efficiency, right? Which I think is kind of makes makes a huge difference, obviously. Um, you guys, okay, yeah, we we got you encircled. This should work out. Um, so we have anti tank. I don't think we'll need that really that much anyway. The fighters obviously are much slower, are being produced much slower, which I don't like. Um, I I don't know another infantry equipment. No, I think we should go for maybe some more support equipment. Nah, probably not. I guess it's gonna be another like medium tank. Actually, now we're making. Oh, okay. So now we're making them monthly. Okay, good. Um, motorized is the only thing that is negative. Why is it? Could you tell me? Deficit of eighty-five. I don't know why. Don't know why that is. Uh. Okay. We. How much motorized in uh, factories do we even have? We have three here. Uh, fifteen. I mean, fifteen. I think that's the only motorized factory that I have. Because I haven't really been focused on motorized infantry that much anymore. Um, it just I don't know. It didn't it didn't feel like it, it what that it was that useful. Okay, these guys encircled. I wonder when it's gonna capitulate. Now one thing that's also pretty cool was we had Turkey, Italy, Japan, they had some small paratroopers or some naval invasions that they sent in. And by the way, we're also getting some naval invasions um, that I probably should have a look at. Um, yeah, I have I have an army garrison here, but they don't actually have a defensive line on the coast, so we could get attacked. Um, but I don't think it's actually possible while we are raiding with our convoys here because um, we're we're hurting them quite a bit. Also, we have air superiority. I've sent all of my planes here, um, which is pretty good. I'm very happy about that actually. Um, at least the British can't bomb us, which is the most important thing. Now we don't actually have air superiority down here, but you know that's where Turkey and Italy are doing their things. I don't really care. Um, Vichy France is, has been fighting here, but this is actually uh, Slovenia and uh, Hungary. But they're kind of stuck, kind of stuck at taking attrition. That's always good. It's always good. Italy, yeah, actually they're making some really good progress here. Oh my God, what the heck? I like that. But we have not been able to actually get Portugal into our faction just yet, and that is because they're still not fascist. I have been improving quite a bit, but it, it never really worked. Okay, so uh, let's finally assign some of our factories. Three factors is what we have lying around. I, I think I'm just gonna have to make a decision. Um, and I think we're just gonna go for probably some more light tanks. I mean, right? So let's do that. Let's build ju just uh, a new light tank factory, why not? Uh, there we go. And the yeah, you, there you go. And give me three for now. That's fine. Four, then that's fine too. Yeah, we are building a ton of military factories right now, which is cool. Uh, we need some more oil. We finished our national focus U-boat effort as well. Very good. And concentrated industry. Oh, that's going to help us out quite a bit. Um, so let's first check out our national focus and what we can pick next. We could go for the rockets. Alliance with Spain doesn't really matter because we already have them in our faction. So there's no point in doing that. Uh, we could do this, but again, there's no point in doing that. Um, so the only thing would be trade interdiction. That's a research bonus, I guess. But meh, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm going to research that anytime soon. Um, or what would this give us? Uh, rocketry. Nuclear technology and rocketry. You know, I think I'm rather going to go with the with this first. Trade addiction, then we're gonna go for rocketry, then probably naval uh, air effort, and then we're gonna do with the we're gonna go with the other things that don't really matter. Okay, we have free dockyards. Does that mean I can build some more U-boat? Yes. This is the only thing I'm building with my dockyards. Just these submarines. Yep. More of them please. More of them please. And what else? Yeah, and research. Okay, so we are researching a new fighter if I'm not mistaken. Uh, some better production. Okay, let's have a quick look at what we can go for. Um, con this is in two years, so I wouldn't wouldn't be smart to go for it just now. Uh, we could go for some more encryption. Mm hmm. I guess, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, let's rather check out some. This is the fighter we're going to research. We could also research a heavy fighter, but I don't think I will. Um, anything else? Oh, I think something I definitely want to go for. Better tanks? No. But let me quickly... Anything here. Better artillery. Improved artillery. 
I was actually rather thinking of going for some military police because we are going to have to uh, occupy quite a lot of provinces. So I think military police could be very useful. So let's let's do that for now. And um, yeah, I guess go go forward. We have some resistance. Yeah, in Delhi. Now this is what I this is exactly what I expected. We have resistance and don't really know what I can do in order to deal with that. Um, okay, you guys are yeah. We only have two cavalry. And I was, I was thinking about maybe adding some military police to our cavalry and just having huge cavalry forces suppressing all of these uh, regions. The problem is I can't really produce that much more, um, well, because we don't have any equipment. Uh, but let me quickly check this out. We could, I guess I could just, well, can I just deploy these guys? They don't have any equipment. You know, I think I'm going to deploy these people and I will just stop... I would just stop their recruitment because it's just we don't have any equipment at the moment so might as well get these guys out and then stop the recruitment of these tanks we don't need them anymore I mean I think we pretty much have the forces that we need at the moment uh, we only we don't really have many divisions but it's not that I guess problematic because well I'm actually gonna stop training them now um, it's not really that problematic because we have all kinds of other things. Okay, you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let you stay here for now. Um, well, no, no, not all kinds of other things. What we do have are uh, uh, big divisions, right? So that's that's really helping out quite a bit. Um, we have, I think, nine infantry per division. Oh no, more than that. As as many infantry as you can, basically. Okay, this will give us some even even more resource gain efficiency. Yes, I like I like resources. I like having resources. We are in desperate need of resources. So how's our war going over here? Um, okay, we're pushing further in. Now, for some reason, we are leaving this out. I don't know why. I I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, hopefully we can just take it out now. Uh, we're at 100% immediately, so this was kind of easy. Come on, guys. Just finish it off, and then you can do other things. And you, I think, I want you to just... I mean, come on. This is basically... There's no one left. Can you just, like, kill them? No, no, no. Oh, damn. Not you. You are supposed to kill them. Okay, so more military factories. You know what? Just fill out the light tank there. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. We still need oil. Oil, indeed. Um, who could give me some oil? This is rubber. The Free American Empire. Alright, they're still around. Uh, let's have actually a quick look at them. I don't know how they're doing. They're probably not doing too well. Yep, they are getting beaten quite a bit. And that is because Japan is still duking around with China. Ah, oh, man. But yeah, once we've taken over the British Raj, which we will do very soon. I mean, we are definitely pushing in, which I like to see. Um, these guys have moved. Okay, great. Okay, they're moving to the front line. Good. Yeah, basically, it's just us pushing forward. There's even Russians over here. I like that. Um, so what else do we need? We still need some more oil. God damn it. Give me oil. Yes, you. And maybe... What if I get some more... Uh, rubber. No one really has any. That's a problem. Integralis Brazil. Now, I don't even know if we had ever a look at uh, South America, but yeah, the rebellions are pretty amazing. Now, Integris Brazil, as well as um, the Argentine League, are actually fascist. This is amazing, because if they win, and it looks as though, I mean, Brazil, well, I guess, you know, I think Integris Brazil is actually going to win, whereas the Argentine League is not going to win. But still, that's going to establish another fascist nation down here, which could potentially join the Axis. I'd be very much welcome well, I would very much welcome them. Um, actually, why would you... You know what? We're going to improve relations with Venezuela as well. Because they might want to join us. That'd be, that'd be great. They are actually... Um, yeah, they're actually sending volunteers to all of my allies. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, China has capitulated. Well, very well done. Okay. Peace conference is over. Hirohito has announced... Uh, the cowardly Chinese nation. Okay, that this is great news. Japan took 25 states. Chinese Empire was puppeted as well as China. 
Okay, so we're gonna have a look at that immediately. Uh, Japan wants call to arms request against the Allies. Well, we're already at war with the Allies. So, this doesn't really make much sense. But, uh, let's have a quick look. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where is... Where's China then? You just... You, you puppeted them, you, you said. So this is China now. Why did you... Why did you puppet them and not just take them over? There's a Chinese empire, and this is China now. Great. Good job, Japan. Now, what I'm actually quite pissed about is the fact that Japan actually takes over French stuff. You know what? I'm actually going to ask them to give me control over... Uh, ask, ask for control of a state and... Um, Wake Island, Guam, Atu Island, Tonkin. Yeah, I want that. Please, give me that because I need control over the rubber. Uh, have they accepted? Yeah, they have. Oh, great, 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 great. Because this is where the rubber is, right? Um, resources. Uh, well, actually, there is just tungsten and, uh, and other stuff. But the rubber down here, and I, I want it. I don't want them to just take over everything. And if they... If they fight in my name, I would be actually quite happy if, would, if they would take it over in my name as well. Now, there's rubber right here, and Ceylon is actually United Kingdom. Okay, yeah, we, ju we just need to take it over. We just have to take this over in order for our factories to actually be, well, producing anything. Okay, we are... Yeah, we're not building any naval bombers. That doesn't really matter to me. We have tons of planes in reserve, but yeah, I just, I just don't need them at the moment. Actually, you know what? I guess that's not correct. Let's see if we can create an air wing here and see what the... Yeah, some close air support. How about... Um, wait, why can I not send all of you? You know what? We're just going to send... Yeah, a thousand is fine. And once you have deployed, we're actually going to send you to help out in southern India. Um, you know, just help my troops out. It could help. I don't know if it really will, but we'll figure that out. Uh, you will be tw uh, 20th of October. Wait, what? Oh, wow, that's a long time. That's a couple of days. Oh, I guess it does make sense. It, we're quite far away from our home base, so it does kind of make sense. You are moving. Okay, everyone's moving. Good. I'm just happy that we no longer have these so many or so much slow supplies. Um, assembly line. Okay, we have higher production cap. I like that. That's really useful. And what else do we have? New technology I could select. Um, I think we're pretty much done here. Yep. Uh, and anything in engineering? I could go for encryption, but I'm just not too interested. Air doctrine, air support, mission efficiency, ace generation chance. Could be useful. What's our land doctrine? Mobile warfare. I think the only thing that really matters is this. Breakthrough in organization. You know what? Fine. We'll go with this. Yeah. And, uh, much else that we need to do? Not really. We have these people. You are healing up, I imagine. I don't know. He here's the weird thing. I don't know why they're healing up here and not, like, here. I don't know where I can set... Is there a possibility to set a home port or something like that? Where? Automatic split, cancel, reparation task, create a new fleet. Hold... You are active in the English channel, so why do you not heal up in the English channel? It doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. We still have air support? Yes. Um, very good indeed. There's just so many fleets going on. This is crazy. And, well, the United States are slowly but surely killing off the free American empire. And I'm just going to let them die. <laughs> I'm just going to let them die, which is probably a bad idea. I guess if I was to send over troops right now, right here, we could actually push back the United States. And you know what? Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should send troops here. 66 divisions is maybe a bit overkill, but we could do that. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I could. I could send. Okay, you know what? We're going to try. Wait. And there we go. We are actually going to try and send these green divisions over. This is... Uh, I mean, it's 18 divisions. Can we... Can we send you... Can I transport to a non-naval base location? Okay. Do you have a naval base? You do not have a naval base. Are you telling me you have not... Yeah, okay, there you go. Oh, can I transport from a non-naval base? Oh, I see. So I have to put you to... An... You cannot find a naval base yourself. Are you kidding me? 
Alright, fine. Go here. That's kind of annoying. How? Why? Why is that even? I don't know. Uh, in any case, we're, we're gonna send our troops there. We're gonna help out the Free American Empire because, um, yeah, it's just gonna make our invasion a little bit easier if we actually have a port there. Um, so yeah, you know what? I'm gonna send you guys, well, the tanks first, I don't know. Uh, we have air wings with no mission. Okay, that means you have arrived. And I want you to, well, help out in southern India. Why are you red? Is that too far for you now? Oh, damn it. Yeah, you're standing by. Are there any... There are no other airports here. They have this one airport. Really? Wait, you're telling me you do not have the range to cover this? Close air support. And you're telling me you are not able to go here. Yeah, you can't. Great. Alright, fine. Then that's that's the whole that's everything you can do. Great. Alright. Um so, oh, Japan is now pushing in. Are they? They might actually, it, it looks like Japan might actually be pushing in now. Oh, that's very good. And Brazil took over, well, the fascist Brazil Brazilians took over the rest of Brazil. Good. So let's see if we can get them into our faction. Invite them to our faction. Actually, they're, well, they still have the thing, but still, we're going to improve relations here. Very nice indeed. Oh my god, that's good. That's going to make our um, invasion of... Southern uh, South America much easier and look at this national Spain is kicking ass Italy not so much. I mean they've done this, but then look at national Spain taking over everything they can I like that. I like it quite a bit All right, so um, we are pushing into the British Raj so far. We have not actually gotten any good stuff though uh, We've only gotten the shitty things, but soon enough. We will actually gather um, The great resources. I'm hoping that Japan is actually gonna take the rubber at some point we still need rubber this is ridiculous and we also need oil as well all right are you guys have you guys arrived yet can you like okay not not just yet but you will you will arrive soon enough you know I think I should probably put you guys in a group um, 18 divisions yep and I'm gonna give you a command as well the fall of Hong Kong oh very nice uh, but first let me give you this guy combat with max entrenchment hill fighter um engineer you know what fine you're not promo you're not assigned yet so we'll give you that um the fall of hong kong troops from the empire of japan have captured the british crown colony of hong kong after breaking through the gin drinkers line and landing on hong kong island itself situation soon became un tenable for the defenders and the governor surrendered in person the peninsula hong kong hotel okay that's a significant development indeed okay so once you guys have arrived here can we please send you over to the free american empire to help out our buddies uh let's actually you know what send them to san francisco and it works okay great it actually works so now we just need to make sure we don't actually freaking die but i think it's unlikely um because yeah, I think we rule the seas at the moment because we've completely cut off the British. They are they are just surrounded by our by our personal fleets. So I don't really think they can do much, but I guess that's something that only time will tell. Um, other than that, there's still some fighting going on here. Um, oh, and Vichy France, or well, at least they're getting the occupation, but it seems as though this is Hungary uh, fighting over here, taking over the Suez Canal very soon. Very nice indeed. Anything else I need to... Well, we are taking care of the British Raj. You know what we should do is probably just use these two tanks just to cut through quickly. Just so we cut them in half. It looks nicer. Um, okay, Any uh, anything else? Yeah, you guys are just going to do that, I think. Alright, guys. Well, uh, I think I'm going to do the rest of these uh, wars off camera. And I'll see you uh, next time once we've hopefully taken over the British Raj as well as this part of France. Just so we have actually some rubber to, to work with. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.